channel. I do hope you're doing well. So, da 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 da, -da we have our first B&M haul of 2022. As I say, you all know me, we love a good bargain shop over here, didn't we? We love a good shop in general, but the bargain shops are where I do tend to spend a little too much. Like you go in literally just to think, I spend 10 or 20 quid and have a look around and then you get one bag, which is oh, very hard to say the least to lift. So it is very, very easy <laughs> to get sidetracked in B&M. So make sure you can't forget that pen and paper because the majority of all of this stuff will be in all your B&Ms, won't it? So as I say, it's not like select stores, pretty much a bargain shop. They're the same wherever you go. You might get a few little homeware gems, but when it comes to the food and the basics, which is... You know that's what I like. I like to go there to stock up for me drinks and food, don't I? Maybe on the health kick got a few healthy snacks but we're still gonna have some treats so do get comfy and let's get in with our first b&m bargains haul of 2022 <laughs> so we're gonna start with the not so heavy bag still quite heavy but the light one shall we say right i've had to open these already no they're not crisps it's not a share bag aka a shannon bag it is actually 70 double clip medium food and freezer bags now these were two pound but we went over to the butchers this morning and yeah got quite carried away four huge bags later dada wanted some bits and we have enough meat well it's took up six drawers all of our freezers now are filled with meat but we have got some good little bits we've got mince tons and tons of chicken breast because i say we are on the hell kick so trying to be a little bit healthy with that we've got some mince we've cut up a huge gammon joint we've got a roast chicken we've got some chicken legs mum picked up some lamb's liver and lamb hearts i don't quite know how i feel about hearts i've never personally had them i've had more the liver side but these are little hearts with stuffing on which mum said nana g used to always cook and are lovely so we're gonna give that a go and see how we get on and then some chicken more chicken some peri peri chicken some sausages and bacon we had a lot so when we got back we ran out of cling film that kind of went for the big joints of meat so i had to dip in and 70 for two quid i don't think is too bad they are however i didn't check the sizing they are medium so they're not the largest but it's still done us we still managed to fit a couple of chicken breasts in there you know so we was all good to go my lovely so yes two pound but i think i might have to when i next go to ikea pop in and get their big boxes because ikea food bags you just can't beat them right i tell you what you can't beat as well you will know how much i love this cup noodles katsu curry the number one in japan and i know why this was one pound and you will know if you are a regular i absolutely adore this i've got quite a few returning favorites in terms of like noodle wise because obviously back at work now trying to be on a health kick they may not be great for you but they're not terrible i mean that's 91 calories oh no per 100 grams 91 it's about 300 calories it's not too bad for a work lunch and as i say i highly highly recommend these number one in japan cup noodles what's the brand nissin nissin if you see this i may or may not have bought two of these but i may or may not have gone in my work break at lunch one day and had one when i returned to work but i do think i picked up another flavor somewhere because i was a bit intrigued with the other one but katsu curry if you love it it's got a nice little bit of heat to it as well that is what you need all right and then i got a little bit sidetracked this was reduced down to i think it was like 80p and it's fabulosa antibacterial hand wash but it's clementine spice flavor and oh my god flavor scent not gonna eat it are you sham but oh it's just lovely and you know what i know christmas has gone but we're still using up some of our little festive cleaning bits and the scents you can't go wrong so yes clementine spice that went straight in the basket and then, ba -da 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 -da, ah, £1.20. This was a Sharwood Tikka Masala cooking sauce, 30% less fat. As I say, are trying to be a little bit more healthier. And we used to get the huge ones, but I think the huge ones are home bargains. Like you get the chili con carne, Uncle Ben's, and this you can get in like the big circular one as opposed to this. But 
because we are trying to reduce portion sizes like if we have a huge sauce it's going to make us want to use like six chicken breasts as opposed to two so yeah we thought we would pick one of those up and as i say we have gone through all of the cupboards we've gone through everything we've done the big food list again so we know exactly what is in there and now we've got all the meat the only thing we need to get now is a bit of things from the fish mother. that's the only thing and then we're all stocked up and i'll tell you what i think i've got another one of these somewhere these maggie noodles oh my god you need in your life one pad i got the chicken curry flavor dinner for two in 15 minutes honestly try them if you saw the vlog when me and mum went to the theater recently i had these in sweet chili flavor and we just had them with some bowie buns and oh my god insane like it says for two it is for two now we're on portions but if you're really hungry just whack it and that could be like a good meal for one as i say trying to reduce the uh, portion sizes but it's not always going to plan let's just say right pick these up for mama g because she needs some cloths five for a quid ribbed dish cloths strong and absorbent there we go nothing more to say trying to find her some of the blue j cloths on a roll they only had the elbow grease ones but i think it was like five for 190 quite pricey i think probably because you're paying because it's elbow grease so she just had those for the moment and obviously because we are back to work i need to have some of my little sachets now if you know me I am never without a little coffee sachet because at work I get bored of tea. So I just picked up Maxwell House, which I think is a coffee that Dada has. And I just got eight latte sachets for one pound. You know what? It's not like you're going to a Costa coffee shop, but it's better than tea and plain coffee at work. And as I say, pop that in, whisk it up and away you go. You've got a nice little frothy coffee, my lovelies. Right. These are a standard for Mama G. Picked her up three roast chicken mug shots. Now, we all know she loves the roast chicken. I, myself, not really a fan. I am more tomato and herb, Mediterranean, minestrone, stuff like that. But I did get carried away in the next bag because there was a flavour that was a festive edition. And they had it reduced down to 40p. I think I picked up like five bags because if you saw the video of 24 hours eating Christmas food, me and Mama G was hooked on it. So yes, stay tuned for some little festive reduced bits, you know, my lovelies. And then, right, this is a staple. We've also cleared out all of the kitchen and these are so handy for like doing your joints of meat in. So they were $1.99 for a three pack of large roasting tin foil tins, basically, Great, as I say, you can put your Sunday roast in, put your teddies around. So good as well. Also, we have a few, well, we used to, we've chucked them out, but we're going to keep a few now spare that we used to, like, defrost the joints in. Save, like, having them on a plate or in the sink and that. Just have one purely just for defrosting purposes. I'm not talking about putting, like, raw meat in there. All of our things are in bags and stuff like that. But, yeah, so handy and so versatile. And great little serving dishes as well. You know, like, if you're doing a party and you're going to have, like, a buffet or something, whack all your sausage rolls, bits and bobs in there. Happy days, hunky-dory, my lovelies. Now, I saw these and I thought, I've got to get them for Mama G. They didn't have an S, which I was very, very saddened about. But we all know how much she loves her bed socks. As she said in, was it her Vogue 73 questions? A clothing item that everyone needs bed socks so i saw these these were a two pack for three pound they are a bit kiddified but there is a pink one with g on and then the second pair is just a pink and white stripe kind of like candy floss marshmallow but yeah i saw that and i thought might be a bit childish but we all know she does love her good bed socks so don't say i don't treat you eh? what i did treat myself with was quite a lot of skinny whip stuff um there's quite a lot there's even some more in the other bags i just got a bit carried away you know how many have we got in here so we've got two packs in here i'm sure i bought another two packs so they had so many new flavors which i haven't seen about so we got the first one was chocolate orange snack bars and i say they're less than 99 calories and they're a quid for five so 20p a little chalk, not too bad. And then I also got the mint and dark chocolate snack bars. These are an essential. If you know, I always have these. But I've picked up another style of these ones, which I don't know if they're the same or they've just changed the packaging because they're like half. 
So I'm going to have to have a look because mum says that one of them are hard and one is like nougat. I think these are the nougat ones. Yeah, five orange nougat bars. So maybe the other ones I got were like the pure chocolate. We'll have to have a look. I did get carried away. Number one by the colours. The colours of the boxes were fab. And also from the flavours. I was just like, hey, I need snacks. Let's go. Let's have a look. Ah, bog standard. Picked up for a quid. Colgate Refreshing Green. Haven't seen this toothpaste about before. Don't really tend to pay much attention when I go shopping for toothpaste. But thought that was great. Right, time to sound like a broken record. If you go to a bargain shop and you don't get your bargain drinks, what are you doing, my lovelies, eh? I picked up two LucasAid cans. These were 25 or 30p each. Absolute bargain. If you do not get any form of a drink when you go to a bargain shop, do not give the supermarkets your money, honestly. And I have got, I think they're in the other bag, some very weird drinks we all know i love a good like sparkling water and i've seen these two cans and i was like oh i need to try you because from home bargains if you remember the first haul earlier on in the month i got some sparkling water like flavored fruit ones they was mojito strawberry and mango and oh my god i need to get back to home bargains for next month because i am obsessed it may be an unpopular opinion people might not like sparkling water but i do and it's going down my gully and it's keeping me hydrated. So what's the problem? But as I say, with the cans of drinks, you get Dr. Pepper Fanta. You sometimes get three for a pound or like they're like 25 or 30p each. You get your packs of drink. I think it's, is it six or eight cans of drink for 150 to two pound? Honestly, just go and have a look. And the water's a lot cheaper there as well, my lovelies. All right. Let's have a look. Ah, I... Am health kick as I say, trying to be. I got a six pack, which is the big family pack. Prince's tuna chunks in spring water. Now this was four pound twenty, which people might think is expensive, but I don't think it's too bad for Prince's. We sometimes get ones at Tesco, and they're like eighty p, and they're not the greatest. I'm not gonna lie, they don't taste the nicest. But Prince's or I think the other one is John West. I've never really had any problems with, so I thought, you know what? get this and we're stocked up because i asked mum for some when i was in isolation and she only got one tin and i was like well that's gonna do me like one little salad in it so i've got enough for six salads we've got lettuce out there your girl is trying but as i'm filming this it is blooming cold c to the o to the ld cold it is not moving from winter i think it's colder now than it has been in november and december like the car in the mornings the frost I don't even, I just don't need that at like half six in the morning, you know? What I do need, I was so happy when I saw this because I don't think I managed to get them last month. Mayflower chicken flavour noodles. If you know, you know these are one pad. You get your noodles, you get little sesame seeds, you get some oil to put on. Absolutely love these. And the containers, I always wash out and keep at work. Just like if I say, open a bag of crisps and there's some left over. Great little containers for work as well. So yes, one pan, you cannot go wrong. And <laughs> something else for work. This was, I think, one pan or 120. But I highly recommend these ones as well. These are the Blue Dragon. And I get mine in the Oriental Chicken flavour. Again, you just put it in, take it off. I like this one because you can do it in the pot. Put your water in, put your sauce, put the lid on, give it like five minutes. It always says three. I don't. I leave mine for a good five, ten minutes so it can absorb all that flavour. And yeah, again, a decent little pot after. But they're not, as I say, it's not as healthy as me having a salad. But some mornings I can't be bothered to do a salad. I'm just going to be honest. And those little ready meals are just quick and easy. Put in all your kettle, do it. I can eat on the go. I can eat in the car. I can eat if I still need to do some editing. They're like fuss free you know and that's what we like tell you what mama g does like at the minute she has been obsessed pink stuff so this is the power disinfectant cleaner and this was 80p so quite reasonable if i do say so myself and as i say she has kind of developed a love for the pink stuff wasn't really a brand that we used to go for but now anything she sees pink stuff and elbow grease loves the elbow grease she's like need that get that that's new want to try that she's she's getting on a cleaning hype my love Liz. Right, don't shout at me. Do I need any more candles, candle holders, votive holders, tea light holders? Absolutely not. Considering that I've kind of like decluttered my room and I haven't got many out, I still went and bought two more. But I absolutely love these. So these were from their Geo range, which is kind of like, 
gives me Gatsby vibes, you know. They was £1.50. But look at how gorgeous they are. And as I say, do you see what I mean with, like, the Gatsby vibe? Like, just the styling of it. Very 1920s style, you know. But I thought these would be great because, yes, I do have quite a lot of spare room now. And I do have votive holders that I need to get out. I thought these would go, like, all the time. So I might pop them up by my TV stand, perhaps. Or I could put them by the hi-fi system. Not entirely sure, but I thought for 150 each, it's a lot better than me buying like four or six of them. And I might have bought a candle in there as well, but it's like baby steps. I cannot completely retract my candle love at this moment. I love this all right. Picked up these for a quid. Very childish, I know, but it is a four pack of Vimto jellies. Just like if I didn't want to have a bar or like one of the little skinny whips and I wanted. To be a kid, basically, I love a bit of jelly. Tell you what I do recommend, the 10 cow jellies. Are they Rowan Trees, Robinsons? You know the tall ones, 10 calories for a jelly. Like, I could probably sit there and eat about 10 of them, but <laughs> at least it gives you your sweetness as opposed to just having, like, bars all the time. And then I picked some herbs up. These were 80p from the Spice Emporium, mixed herbs, just purely because we go through these so, so much. And as I say, you pay about... 60 70p in tesco's for like the little ones so i thought we'll get a big one and this will probably fill our little container a good couple of times over i tell you what i do need and i was very saddened to not see it we've run out of garlic now if you know me and mama g you know that garlic goes on everything and in everything that we cook so yeah i think i need to head over to home bargains pronto because we all know home bargains little 50p spices and seasonings and herbs i need to stock up on probably i'll get like four garlics when i next go so there's a little spoiler for your next home bargains there's gonna be plenty of garlic if there's there all right my lovelies and then this so the time has come we have put all the christmas bits away the only thing christmas remaining in the house at the moment is the christmas bath mat and toilet pedestal mat you know so they had the nice like shaggy ones you know like kind of just like a shaggy rug in a style like you can put your fingers through it they had so many different colors of them but they were seven quid just for the bath mat and they didn't have a matching toilet pedestal mat so i saw a bargain this was seven quid for both and it is a super soft memory foam so this is your little pedestal cover that obviously goes around your toilet and then this is the bath mat and i didn't think that was too bad super soft bathroom mat set cushioned for comfort the bath shop and as i say seven quid super absorbent it's anti-slip quick dry and yeah mum is really traditional she really likes to have a matching like toilet pedestal mat and a bath mat and when i saw it was seven quid for one and they didn't do the other i was like great because literally that is the only christmas fire thing left in the house went around the next aisle and saw that and i was like ah you're going straight in the trolley. Honestly, my lovelies, there is nothing like going to a bargain shop in your lunch break and it takes you 15 minutes to drive there. You've got to take 15 minutes to drive back. So that's half an hour gone. You need to do a mad dash in about 10, 15 minutes to be able to check out and hope there's no one queuing up. I done a B&M quick dash, let me tell you, and I had to put pedal to the metal to get back in my lunchtime because otherwise I would have, oh my God. I could have got so carried away, which I think is a good idea of me going in my lunch breaks because I know I'm like under a time limit. When I'm not, I mean, we've all seen what can happen before. We can have countless amount of bags, to be perfectly honest, can't we? So, um, yeah, maybe a time restriction is best for me. Maybe I should just start doing all of my hauls during my lunch breaks. So then I can't doodle for like an hour in home bargains. I have to get it done and dusty within like 15 minutes. Who knows? And then the last thing in the bag, my lovelies, is these are a returning favorite these are the lemon drizzle 90 calorie fiber bars oh my god if you see these or you see the birthday cake ones pick them up pick them up because you will not be disappointed all right well my lovely that is one bag done let's get in for bag two shall we <laughs> right moving well i'm just going to drag this one because this one's a bit heavier you know right <laughs> Where do I start with this one? Oopsie. So, let's just get this out of the way, shall we? One, two, three, four, five. So, as I said earlier, if you saw the 24 hours eating Christmas food, you will know that me and Mama G picked these up. And it is the Mugshot Christmas Dinner flavour, alright? They are normally a pound. 
They reduced them down to 40p. So I cleared the shelf and bought all five that was left because your girl really likes these. These are so, so good and it tastes like a Christmas dinner. You get tiny little bits of carrot and little bits of turkey in there. You get a nice like Christmas gravy and yeah, absolutely love them. Less than 230 calories. Great for a little snack. As I say, the cold weather, it's not shifting at the minute, is it? So yes, absolutely love that. And when I saw that, I was like, I need them. How many's left? Five. Great. You're going straight in the trolley. If you haven't tried it and you see it, do not be put off thinking, oh, Christmas dinner pasta. Honestly, give it a try and let me know down below if you've tried it or not because they are, I'd probably rate them over like the minestrone. That was how much I liked them. And I really liked, which they don't do anymore and I'm very, very saddened, Ginsters or Ginsters, I don't know how you say it. You know the steak bake people, they done a festive steak bake and it was roast chicken and stuffing. <gasps> I don't know when they got discontinued because I haven't been Tesco for a while, but I cannot find them for love nor money. So that really saddens me because those in the microwave, two minutes, deliciosa. Right, got some more of them bacon tray foil things, my lovelies. Again, $1.99, but this is a five pack of kind of like the medium size. These are great for if you're doing something in chips to portion the chips because our normal black trays are quite a lot larger than this and I like to fill them up at least by having a smaller surface I can like section it and not overindulge as much and like kind of try and stick to a relatively good portion you know so oh oh I've made a boo-boo oh no right so I picked you know the clementine spice hand wash that was as soon as you walked in and when I went round the next aisle, for some reason, I thought this was peach. And it's not. Okay, so I've bought two Clementine Spice hand washes. I just saw the bottom and thought it was a peach. Silly, silly, Shannon. Okay, well, I think Dada's going to be having one of these because we don't need two of them. Don't need to be greedy and hogging all the uh, Clementine Spice hand washes, do we? Oh, that's annoying. Let's hope I haven't got any other duplicates. This is what happens. The only thing when you're in a mad rush, you kind of get blindsided and I probably ended up picking a lot of random shizzle up. Another form of lunch, my lovelies. And now, I don't normally buy these too often because I do think they're expensive. In Tesco's, these can be £2 per sachet. I ain't paying £4 for pasta, all right? But these were down to a quid, so I thought it's half price. I'll just get one. I wasn't going to get carried away. But it is the Dole Mio pasta twists so that is one portion of pasta they say and i picked up the carbonara sauce now you can get a plain tomato and basil or you can get mini meatballs as well mini meatballs i wouldn't even bother they are literally the size of like a petit pois pea they are tiny and it, it does not give you the feeling that you're eating meatballs all right i actually really like the carbonara version and as i say these are great because you either put them in your little container or if you're really lazy just once you've cooked these pop it out pour your sauce on and you ain't even got to take it out of the bag but yeah a little bit pricey in the supermarkets i can justify paying a quid each for that but if i wanted pasta i would probably just have to get up early in the morning and cook it because i do think it's a bit of a daylight robbery when the shops can charge you two pound per sachet Anyone else agree with me on that? Or am I just waffling absolute rubbish that I do most of the time? Ah, there's my other chicken curry Maggie noodles, as I say. Apologies if I fumble around with my thumb a bit. I'm trying to get back into my jewellery. So I've dug out one of my rings. And I wanted to wear it as a thumb ring. Because, you know, like cool people do that, don't they? But I definitely don't think I'm cool. And I don't think I'm pulling it off. Because it's kind of irritating me. Like, I keep thinking and thinking and thinking what are you trying to say Shad? <laughs> then it's gonna come off so it is an adjustable one so i don't know if i need to make it a bit tighter but i don't want to make it too tight in case i can't get it off my knuckle because if you saw the primark haul you all know the sheer panic i had when i thought i'd got my finger stuck primark ring if you haven't seen it go and check that haul out it's probably about halfway through gives you a bit of a laugh right Another little seasoning thing from the Spice Emporium. This is a built-in grinder and it is garlic and herb salt. This is perfect. I think it's about 60 or 80p to put on pizzas and pasta dishes. Like, obviously, we love garlic, so it goes in everything we cook. But if you literally want, like, a nice crackety crack on the top, 
pizza and pasta this is absolutely delicious for i think i got one similar to that in cherries a few months back but yeah 60 or 80p can't go wrong and then ah so this is one of the cans of drink there should be another one floating around somewhere so it says don't eat it drink it and it's by the brand candy can and this one is a sparkling birthday cake drink zero sugar now i have no idea what to expect from this but as i say i am partial to a little sparkling drink so i thought hey ho why not let's go with it and then what i did see for a pan these are just i hope these are going to be nice because they look great and the packaging screams american vibes for me cheerleaders hot dogs in brine these were one pound once again but as i say love having just a tin of hot dogs in there because you ain't even got to have the rolls with hot dogs i quite like having them with say some savory rice you know just as like a little alternative oh my god canon my lovelies it's done it again it is flashing to tell me to stop rabbiting well i'm not going to stop rabbiting i'm going to change your battery so give us a tick and i will be right back <laughs> there we go sorry if the angles changed a bit slightly but yes we are back always always happens doesn't it either the memory card's running out of storage or the battery's dying basically just saying shannon lee all you do is rabbit on but hey ho that's the channel that's me i guess and you all know that all right so it was only a pan all right i'm not going to begrudge myself a candle for a quid this is the panorama which panorama they do so many jupes so you get like the diffusers you get tea lights votives and also i think they are the ones are they the ones that do the poof poofs no that's ambi pure i think but this one a pound can't go wrong you get like a nice little citrusy side, which we have tried before when this has run out to clean it. Because we all know I like to reuse them, but it scratches off. I mean, you can't expect much for a quid. But yes, they had this in lavender and a clean cotton scent, I think. But I am loving my citrus. Even as we speak now, I've got Citrus Orchard from TK Maxx or Home Sense, DW Home. That is a burning in the background because, as I say, it is cold. But also, I burn candles all year round. I am that person. If you are too, let me know down below. I just, I like the ambiance of a candle. Like, it does chill me out. It gives you the warmth. It gives you a nice scent. It's just a nice scent thing, ain't it? So, yeah. Candles are always around with me throughout the year my lovelies ah my second maggie noodles not maggie noodles these are your mayflower ones i will keep one here and i will take one to work on monday morning because it's always handy the first thing i've done on my first day back at work do all my drawers up like fill them to the brim snacks some healthy lentil crisps plenty of drinks see what did i get i can't remember what was the name of it Gonda. i got this really like weird tea but i actually really like it i'll try and find it if i can still see it and link it down below or i'll try and show you in a vlog or something Sigonda, Sigonda. no that's a watch brand i got like i can't remember the correct pronunciation of it but i got this like tea brand and it's actually really nice they do like strawberry and mangoes um a lot of citruses peppermint which is great if you get like bloated a lot which i have started getting bloated a lot thank goodness for my peppermint capsules that my girl at work recommended to me from amazon because they are an absolute lifesaver but yeah trying to come away from like the teas with all the sugars and that and have maybe a fruit tea so i picked these up for mama g and she said i don't like the look of them so I was like, okay, looks like I'm going to have to have them. It's the Fiber 190 calorie bars again, but these are four peanut butter popcorn bars. Now, we all know over Christmas and just in general, she loves her peanut butter, has become highly addicted to Reese's uh, peanut butter chocolate. So I thought, oh, there we are. There's a healthy alternative. No, she said, I don't like the look of them. So I was like, okay, then uh, <laughs> they will come with me to work, I think. And we're also like kind of building a little stash in the house like a used to be the sweet drawer but now it's the healthy yogurt snack bar drawer to be perfectly honest so i think they're gonna go in there you know ah she wanted some bleach so this was a big one liter easy platinum thick bleach so i think they're normally like 60 to 80p for a standard bottle but because it was a liter it was a quid i think i got her one similar to this from home bargains or did i get a it was something like an extra thick or premium so yeah platinum thick bleach from the brand easy easy seem to be like going everywhere at the moment like fabulosa there's a few new products in here from fabulosa that i saw and i'm like 
hold on a minute, they just seem to be branching out in all the different directions. And I'm just like, I can kind of vibe with it because the more things they do, the more in the bargain shops, the cheaper they're going to be instead of having to pay like fairy or personal prices. So I'm all here for it. All right, my lovelies. And then, right, the last two skinny whippies. So these are the skinny whips, five mint and dark chocolate snack bars. But mum don't think they're nougat. They are. Five mint flavoured nougat bars covered in dark chocolate. Right, hold on a minute. So, what is the difference then with these and these? Probably absolutely nothing. Are they just different packaging? I think it's different packaging. <laughs> I think they might be going more for this like sleek design as opposed to these. So we've got 10 mint and dark chocolate bars, which ain't a problem because me and Mama G both love this flavour, so we can have one each. And then the last one that I picked up was the five double chocolate snack bars. Now these called out to me. I was like, yes, please, you are going in there. But as I say, I just got carried away because I saw the nice colourings. Is there any more? No, nope, that's all of them. I was just like, I need them all. Need them all. Saw this was in a different style and thought, oh, maybe they're different and they're not. False advertising there, skinny whip. But as I say, it might be that they're like trying to go more sleeker as opposed to the bulkier packaging. Hey ho, as long as it tastes the same, your girl's not bothered, all right? Here's me other drink. This one I'm very looking forward to. So again, don't eat it, drink it, candy can from sparkling bubblegum drink. <gasps> Actually, I'm quite parched, so should we give this one a go? I don't want to have the birthday cake one. Right, so what colour is it? I'm really weird. I like to know the colours of my drinks. I think it looks like a bubblegum pink flavour. So, oh, it's not like sparkling water. Oh, it's sparkling almost, you know, like a Fanta, like normal sparkling drinks. I thought it was like sparkling water style, but it's not. That is nice though. Oh! Oh, I like that. So, if you don't like sparkling water, give this a go. Because it's not. It's just sparkling like in terms of, say, Dr. Pepper or Fanta. Just like a fizzy drink. They should have just said fizzy drink. Because sparkling, I just saw it and thought sparkling water drink. Oh, I like that. I shall uh, be having a hunt to see if there's any more flavours. The birthday cake one. Could that be sickly? I'm not going to open this one because they're fizzy, so obviously I don't want them to go flat. Keep an eye out on my lifestyle or food Instagram. They're always linked down below. And I might do like a little story on them or like a little post when I do them. Or keep an eye out for vlogs, depending when I'm going to have them, to be honest. So yes, highly recommend that. That is absolutely lovely. Picked up, this was £1, I think. Was it £1 or 80p? Under a quid. And it is the King original curry pot noodle now the other day i was having lunch and i had a salad and i thought i'm really craving something warm like something different to my usual snack pots you know and i thought i don't know you know when you fancy something and you can taste it but you don't know what it is and i was in kind of that mindset and then when i was walking around i was like that is what I wanted. That is what I was craving. A curry pot noodle. So I picked that one up. And I also just picked up, I think this was 50p, this one. The original little beef and tomato. Let me know down below, what is your favourite flavour of pot noodle? Are you, what's the um black and grey one? Bombay bad boy? Are you chicken and mushroom? The green one. That's the one that mum likes. I'm just plain basic. Either curry or beef and tomato are like my go-tos. But there's so many different flavours now, isn't there, of pot noodles? I seem like really backwards because I don't, I don't tend to venture. I'm very particular when it comes to pot noodles. Like all of my little noodles like Mayflower and Maggie and Blue Dragon. I'm all right with trying new flavours of them because it's kind of like oriental and spice and that but when it comes to pot noodles because the noodles slightly different i'm very like fussy like i used to have where did i chuck it so the beef and tomato one and i would never put the sauce sachet in because i'd just be like Ugh, no then i went through a stage of i would love putting the sauce sachet in then i went through the stage of i would just literally pour ketchup in it and but it would be ridiculously sweet now i don't know what i'm gonna see what i fancy when i have this and then 
Is it the original curry? Does that one get mango chutney? Is this a mango chutney flavour one? I think so. But yeah, so I just saw them and I was like, that is what I was craving that day. That was what I needed in my life. So I picked one up of both of them. And then I picked this up. This was 80p, I think, again. And it is Fabulosa Washing Up Liquid, a litre. Even if it was a quid, a litre for a quid is great. And this was the lemon sherbet scent. So let's see how this goes. I hate in case it shoots up and then just goes everywhere. Oh, that's very strong. And you know what? I find sometimes, my lovelies, that the, like, say, smaller brands are a lot better smelling than, like, Fairy and all of those jazz. Because sometimes mum will get Fairy and I'm like, you can't, you are like to walk into a kitchen if she's washing up, because we all know I don't really wash up much, but like to smell the washing up liquid. And sometimes fairy don't cut it, but that is great and it's suitable for vegans. So love that for you, Fabulosa. And then I've never had these before, but I'm hoping they're going to be like Kinder Buenos. I don't think they are in terms of having the nutty filling, but I just got a little pack of Kinder chocolate for a quid. And I think they're just creamy, milky filling and melt-in-the-mouth chocolate. I mean, I love chocolate, so I'm not going to complain about it. And you get eight little bars for a pan. So I thought, hey-ho, might as well try that. I do love a good Kinder Bueno, though. And Hungry Hippo. Hungry Hippo? Happy Hippo. No. It is Hungry Hippo, ain't it? You get, like, the five... I bought them... Did I buy them earlier this month? Or was it Christmas? I think I've got, like, one left in my work drawer. So, yes, Hungry Hippo, I'm sure it, Hungry Hippo or Happy Hippo, is Summing Hippo, and you get the original ones, and then you get the Cocoa ones now. Oh, my God. Absolutely love them. I like that. Kind of like the hazelnutty, chocolatey, biscuity. I love all of that jazz. And then I picked this up, because I say, we was doing all the kitchen and having a bit of a clear through, and I thought, you know what? This will be great to put under the draining mat because mum is forever wiping the draining board. This was £2.50 from the brand Addis, and it is a printed dish drying mat. So you literally just pop this under. You don't even have to have your draining rack. You can literally just put stuff onto this. But I think mum will still keep her draining rack, and I've actually bought one of these for when I move out. And you know what? It's not too bad. Nice little design. I thought grey goes with the kitchen. Super absorbent and it will hopefully just stop her having to like tidy it up all the time. And then the last thing, my lovelies, let's move this bag, is the second Nissin cup noodles that I picked up in chicken teriyaki. Now, I did have this again. I bought two of this and the katsu curry one and I had this at work the other day. Oh my God. Very interesting. It wasn't sweet like teriyaki, like how I know it. It kind of had a bit of a kick to it, but it tasted great. So now, where are my other one? I've got two favourites. So I think next time when I go, I might just do like a bulk stock up, maybe get like three or four of each, because as I say, chicken teriyaki. This is the green one. So your green one is teriyaki, and your yellow slash orange one is your katsu curry. But honestly, for a pound, I would probably say, out of all of my snacks, oh, would they beat Mayflower? We all know I love my Mayflower because I get my sesame seeds and that. I think they would. I highly, this one is a 10 out of 10 for me. This knocks every other single pot noodle out of the park. And I'd give this a strong nine. I think it's because I'm not quite used to this one. I need to like adapt to it, but this is a regular. So Nissin, number one in Japan, you're number one in my eyes as well. And would you look at that? The bed is covered. That means that our B&M haul for January 2022 is done. <laughs> so I don't know about you, but I am glad to be out and about. And as I say, because I did have my stint in isolation earlier in the month, I cannot wait to be back hitting them bargain shops. There will be a kind of like isolation vlog coming. I think it's going to be the next video actually on Tuesday where I just document my seven days in isolation. How I was kind of banned to my room and if I needed to go like out to the bathroom, it was masks, all of that jazz. And how Mama G, she stayed negative the whole way through. She is like indestructible, that woman. She was not catching anything so her immune system must be whew, way up there let me tell you that but yes i think we've done all right two big bags 
little bit more spent than I wanted to. But as I say, I do think I have got a good stock up of snacks. I mean, five Christmas dinner mug shots eat your heart out. I was so, so happy with that. We've got a new little flavour, chicken teriyaki, which has awoken my taste buds. We've got, I have to think as well, like, I spent more than I wanted, but we've got the bath mat set. We've got the dry mat. We've got some of the little uh, tin foil tins. Mama G's got some bits. I did buy four lots of skinny whips. So there's four quid straight out there, Shay. But I think we've done all right. And I only bought one candle and two little holders, which for me is good. We all know I love my snacks. So snacks and food is quite abundance in all of my barking shop hauls, to be honest. And I did refrain from purchasing crisps. That is why I think I went a bit OTT on the Skinny Whip bars because I thought I don't want to go down the crisp bowl because I'm going to see all of the share bags, aka Shannon bags, and I'm going to want them all. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to get myself in that pit, you know. So I think I've done quite good. Very, very highly impressed with these drinks. And as I say, if you don't like sparkling water, don't worry. Give it a go. It's a panda can, which you might think that's expensive, but it's a big can, isn't it? I absolutely love that and I cannot wait to be having the birthday cake one but my lovelies I don't want to ramble on in these outros any longer than I have to because you want to get on with your day you do not want to be sitting here listening to me a rabbit on but if you did enjoy the video guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below as I say leave me a comment what was your favorite bit from the haul any bits that you'd recommend like snack pots any of the bits have you tried bath mats if you need a bath mat I would highly recommend B&M and yeah, let me know what your favourite flavour of Skinny Whip is or like the Fibre One bars. If you're having like a bit of a healthier snack, what would you tend to go to to try and divert away from the sugary bad stuff, yeah? But as I say, I'm going to let you get on with your day. Take care, stay safe as always. And I'll see you Tuesday for a brand new video, which as I say, will be my isolation vlog. So we are coming through with the vlogs now. I want to try and get a few more out there as I say. And yeah, just uh, stay tuned for that because it's an experience to say the least. Bye, guys.